Welcome to a new Pressure Plastic video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use a lot of plastic bags in bulk amounts and transform them into these marble-like objects, which are super strong and look super nice. And Sonia from Poland is gonna show you how to do that. Hi, Hi. Uh, I will show you how to prepare plastic bags, the whole making process, uh, and then how to finish up the object. So, let's start. First, you need to uh, prepare plastic bags. We have uh, two types of them. Uh, one are made from LDPE and others from HDPE. And you should always separate them from each other, but it's not always um, easy because some of them are not marked. But uh, you can also always arrange uh, the plastic bags uh, as you want in terms of colors and mix them in a nice way to achieve this marble effect. Uh, the next step is to prepare uh, plastic bags and the easiest way is to shred them. But the good thing about this technique is that you can always cut it by hand. Okay, if you have already plastic bags, now we need to find a mold. Here we are using metal molds because they are uh, very strong. But you can use whatever material or whatever shape you want. It's up to you. Just make sure that it's strong enough. Uh, you also need a pan to melt the plastic inside. So I will recommend you to just have this smooth bowl so you can easily uh, grab the plastic which is around. And always remember to put your mask on and have the gloves around. You will need also to set up an oven uh, for 200 degrees. You should always be careful that your box doesn't uh, touch the heating elements in your oven because that's the way you can put it on fire. While plastic bags melt, uh, they create a dough and step by step I am going to add more and more plastic bags to the dough. So finally I will have enough quantity to fulfill my mold. Once in a while you need to take your pan off uh, of the oven and grab all these plastic bags which are aside and try to make a nice dough. Some more plastic bags and then back to the oven. I'm adding the box I shredded. After the whole making process, when we have our dough done, we are putting it into the cold mold. This, uh, this technique is easier because it cools down 
quicker and it's also easier to take, uh, take the object out from the mold. After putting uh, the dough in the mold, and uh, now it's time for the compression process. Uh, and you can use the clamps to compress it, or you can uh, use the compression in the oven. Uh, in our new version of the oven, we have compression machine below it. Um, you should leave the mold uh, into compression machine for some time and to wait until it cool down. Uh, then you can easily take it off and start uh, finishing up uh, the object. I always use the thicknesser planner, planner because it's, it's nice to get rid of the first layer so then you can, uh, you can easily see all this nice line and it's smoother and also cleaner. Uh, so first step for me it, it, it is always thicknesser planner. Uh, then I am going to sand it and polish it. And now the cube is finished. After sanding and polishing, it looks a lot like marble. Uh, so now it's up to you. You can drill it, it, you can cut it. So you can make different shapes, uh, different colors. Uh, it's up to your imagination. All right, so that was the video. Thank you, Sonia. I hope it was all clear. If it wasn't, feel free to post the topic in our forums. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>